10 Historical Facts About the Abolition of Slavery in America Do you agree that slavery is such a big word? Well, these days, students in America thought that slaves were freed when Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation on September 1862. While true, the reality of freeing those slaves was far more complicated. Here, we will explore the history and learn more about slavery in America. We will look at what happened about the abolition of slavery in America, especially those abolitionists that schools have not yet taught the children. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Slaves from Africa Slavery in America has a long and unrestrained history in America, as many of us around the world are aware. Slaves were mostly from Africa. Throughout the 17th and 18th centuries, African people were kidnapped and forced into slavery. By the middle parts of the 19th century, the westward expansion and the abolition of slavery in America activated a massive argument over slavery that would destroy the nation's part in the bloody civil war. Even if the victory of the Union freed the nation's enslaved people, the slavery's legacy remained an influence on the history of America. Number 2. Transatlantic Slave It was the most costly in human life and long-distance migration globally. During the period of the Atlantic slave trade from 1526 to 1867, some captured people were brought on ships to Africa, and some arrived in the places in Americas. The first Africans were forced to work in the New World, left Europe at the start of the 16th century and not from Africa. The first voyage carried enslaved people directly from Africa to the Americas in 1526. Number 3. Abolitionists believe that slavery was morally wrong. Abolitionists have three beliefs. One, that slavery was wrong. Two, is that slavery was inhumane. And three, slavery was indeed a violation of the principles of democracy. This simply means that all men, no matter their skin color, were created equal. Number four, all men are created equal. What's very interesting to note is that slavery complaints and grievances did not make it into the Declaration of Independence in the year 1776. However, the document claimed that all men are created equal. Eleven years later, the founders drafted the Constitution, yet they did not eliminate slavery then. Perhaps you want to know who these abolitionists that fought for the abolition of slavery in America were? That's what you're going to learn next. Number 5. Who is William Lloyd Garrison? He put the idea of slavery in America into words and published the anti-slavery newspaper, The Liberator. It first circulated in Boston, Massachusetts to spread the word that slavery was wrong because of the Liberator newspaper that circulated widely in the US and England. Garrison later received recognition as the most fundamental of American anti-slavery advocates. He made ideas about what to do about it in the US. William also founded the American Anti-Slavery Society. It was a club that people could join who believed that ending slavery was indeed the right choice. The club also hosted meetings regularly. Number 6. Harriet Tubman Harriet Tubman is another famous abolitionist because of her experience as a slave. She was an escaped slave and then made 13 other missions to rescue around 300 slaves, which includes her friends and family. She used the network of anti-slavery safe houses and activists known as the Underground Railroad. She escaped slavery, running away to Pennsylvania, where she got her freedom. Because of her Underground Railroad, Tubman became known. Many would consider her as Moses because Harriet Tubman led her people to freedom as Moses did in the Bible. Number 7. Frederick Douglass So who is Frederick Douglass, and how was he able to help abolish slavery in America? Frederick Douglass is another African-American who was a famous abolitionist too. He was also a slave who ran away to get his freedom. He was a fierce speaker who gave a lot of speeches to tell his story. He inspired people to join the abolitionist cause because of his big support for abolition in the United States. Douglass even published his anti-slavery newspaper, The North Star, surfacing in New York and gaining widespread support. Number 8. Harriet Beecher Stowe this is another name that you should get yourself to be familiar with. 
she made a big contribution to the abolition of slavery in America, which made a huge difference in America. Harriet was the author of the book Uncle Tom's Cabin, which many people read in the 1850s. The book story became an eye-opener about slavery as it's about a slave and his master living in the South. Her book made people realize how wrong slavery was. Even Abraham Lincoln acknowledged Harriet's book and how it greatly affected society. He supported the ending of slavery at a very crucial time in history. Number 9. John Brown Another abolitionist named John Brown tried to lead the slave uprising in Virginia. This was a year and a half before the Civil War started. Just so you know, John Brown became very frustrated with the peaceful nature of the abolitionist movement. He felt that slavery should end using whatever necessary means, including violence. He also initiated the armed slaves in the South so they would revolt against their white owners to get their freedom. He believes that if all slaves rose against their masters, they would have the upper hand. Number 10. Underground Railroad Success Like what was said earlier about Harriet Tubman as one of the Underground Railroad's conductors, this movement became a success and supported the abolition of slavery in America. Its success helped in spreading the abolition of slavery in America. It also increased the section tensions as it convinced pro-slavery Southerners and a determination to beat the institution that continued them. Wrapping up the historical facts about the abolition of slavery in America have perhaps made you realize how this movement changed the world and the lives of enslaved people. Though slavery still exists and is practiced in some parts of the world, this may be a lesson that we should care more about human beings than practicing a former tradition. We hope you find this video helpful and educational. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something from our topic, especially since most of us don't want slavery to ever happen again. Perhaps the best way is to always treat everyone equally. From there, you will know you are living in a world without judgment, without comparison, and without slavery. I hope you got something to ponder after watching this video. More than that, we are glad to announce that we run a few charity campaigns and our goal is to help those in need. You may check out the link in the descriptions and view our campaigns. So that's it for today's video. And if you find this video interesting, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, feel free to let us know if you want to discuss interesting topics in the future. Write in the comment section below so we can have it on our list to cover.